controlling, fearful and oppressive. That's how people who've left the community of Gloria Vale describe their lives there. This comes as a new trust is established, the Gloria Vale Leavers Support Trust, which aims to help those who decide to leave with everything from housing, clothes, furniture, even help setting up their own bank account. More than 200 people attended the Trust's launch last night, including our video journalist Logan Church. Describing itself as a Christian community, those who have turned their backs on Gloria Vale say it's anything but. Among those who have left is Lois. She walked out two years ago with her husband Caleb, her child and her unborn baby. She was 32 weeks pregnant. We decided to leave at night time and we kept it a secret just because we didn't want to make a big fuss and we didn't want people to try and talk us out of it. Um, my husband had been thinking about it for a while. Leaving meant freedom for Lois, freedom to choose what to do, freedom to choose how to act, what to wear. But that freedom took some time to get used to. I've been out here for two years and I still have trouble making decisions like this morning I got up and I honestly for like half an hour I couldn't decide what to wear. That theme of control was common in the stories of all those who have defected. Hannah Harrison, the great-granddaughter of Gloria Vale's founder, Hopeful Christian, read out part of the commitment, which is in essence a contract that their followers are strongly encouraged to sign. So this is the, the last line out of the commitment that they sign. It says, I make all these vows and declarations voluntarily from my heart before this church today. And regardless of whether I abound or am abased or live in peace, persecution or affliction, they bind me for the rest of my life, not only legally and morally before men, but also spiritually before God in heaven, so that if ever I break any of them, I do so to the peril of my soul. Life in Glory Vale could be tough, especially if you strayed outside the rules, like walking barefoot or not having your top bus and done up or having any secret communication with the outside world. Those rules were enforced by Gloria Vale's leaders, called the Servants and Shepherds. Elijah says some of the community instead called them the SS, in reference to Nazi Germany. And it's just because of how, how much fear you have of going to an SS meeting. So there's 16 of them, um, I think. Roughly that. And when you go to a meeting, you sit in a circle. Yeah, it's pretty much just a really scary place. And when you grow up there, it's the last place you want to go. Isaac is a father of 10 children. He says any contact with the outside world was heavily censored. Get newspapers in once a week. They get the leftover newspapers from one of the shops in town for, for starting the fires and stuff you use newspaper for. But someone goes through all those, they chop out anything about Gloraville in the news, any articles that um, what, about anyone that's left, they're all read. He says the pressure to stay at the commune was immense. All you're told all your life that the moment you walk out that gate, you're going to hell, your kids are all going to hell. How can you do that to your children and all this? He says choosing to leave is also choosing to leave your friends and extended family behind. And he says defectors are often left with next to nothing. They pay money each week into everybody's over 18 has a bank account, but you have no access to it. They put the money in there to say that they've paid it to you, then they take it back out. So you only ever, they only ever leave you with five to ten dollars in your bank account. So on the books, they say, we've paid these people. Look at your bank account, five bucks. And that is where the Gloria Vale Leavers Support Trust aims to help. Its general manager, Liz Gregory, told the crowds that the aim was to help leavers with practical things like clothes, furniture, vehicles, bonds for homes and groceries. It would also build a website that they hoped people who were still living inside Gloria Vale could see. Gloria Vale itself has not responded to our interview request today. In Timaru for Checkpoint, Logan Church.